um, this was not, they were not part of a caravan. They were not you know, similar to what uh, the group of folks that were in you know, uh, Tijuana. The, they left Guatemala, um, he and his daughter themselves. Uh, they traveled through Mexico by bus. Um, they, did, they did not walk. Um, and they arrived at the border by bus um, with the wall in sight. And so when they crossed the border to specifically seek out Border Patrol to seek relief, which was their intention, um, they had not, they had been walking for a few hours, but they had not been walking for days. The uh, CBP timeline uh, in what they've made public uh, indicates uh, that Jacqueline's uh, first indication that there was uh, some concern, some distress, uh, was sometime uh, about 5 o'clock in the morning uh, at a time before the bus that she was going to be transported and was transported uh, went to Lordsburg, but that at some time before the bus left, uh, sometime around 5 o'clock, there was an indication of distress uh, and a decision was made at, at that point to transport her by bus uh, anyway. I think it's important for us to understand that the Constitution sets the standard not Border Patrol. And the constitutional standard, and the government has admitted this in prior litigation in the Tucson sector, the constitutional standard is that there is a system of ready access to adequate care. And mismanaging or denying in proper intake screening is a constitutional violation. So we need an inquiry to look at the actions taken or not taken to understand whether it met our constitutional standards, not the standards set out by Border Patrol.